How's it going, everyone? In this video, I want to go over quite a few things. Got an update on a free-to-play PlayStation title, a pretty notable one in Splitgate. If you guys don't know, it's a fast-paced shooter with this unique portal mechanic. Have an unfortunate update about that. We'll talk about that. A PlayStation 4, PlayStation Plus title has gotten a PlayStation 5 upgrade. This is essentially the same thing what uh, that happened with Final Fantasy VII Remake a while ago, where initially there wasn't a PS5 upgrade available. Now there is, and we'll talk about that. Got a big update on the Callisto Protocol. That has quickly become one of my most anticipated games for the rest of the year. Super excited about that. And another game, not as excited for, but definitely excited for, New Tales from the Borderlands. We got a brand new trailer for that and new gameplay. More on that at the end of this video. But first up... I want to start off with some unfortunate news about Splitgate. So this came from the official Splitgate Twitter account. To our Splitgate fans, we could not be here without your support. We pride ourselves on trying to be as community focused as possible. We strive to improve our game and build a better future for Splitgate because of the enthusiasm of our fans. Thank you. Splitgate achieved a level of success that we could not have anticipated and that few indie games are fortunate to reach. That initial success brought an opportunity to turn what started as a college dorm dream project into a AAA game game that could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with shooters from the biggest publishers in the industry. But this also meant as we brought on top-tier talent from across the industry, we've spent a lot of time trying to rework old content and systems that were originally built by a handful of people. We are in a way a bailing water while also trying to keep everyone who bought a ticket on board to our ship happy, while also trying to turn our boat into a rocket ship. After careful consideration and much deliberation, the 1047 Games team has determined that in order to build the game the fans deserve and build it in a way that isn't trying to retrofit and live operate an existing product, we are ending feature development of Splitgate. We're turning our attention away from iterative, a smaller update, and going all in to focus on a new game. In the Splitgate universe, which will be present revolutionary, not evolutionary, changes to our game. It will be a shooter, it will have portals, and it will be built in Unreal Engine 5.0, and it will be free. We understand many of you will be disappointed and have a lot of questions. We want to be clear that Splitgate will remain online, as will your items and progression. In fact, we will roll out out a new battle pass on September the 15th and it will be free to everyone as a thank you for playing Splitgate. Game support will continue and there will be smaller updates and fixes to Splitgate but the bulk of our focus will be on an entirely new shooter that we can't wait to share with you. This is a see you soon and not a farewell. As far as like ending updates to games, this is like one of the best uh, posts that I've seen that is concerned. Obviously it's always unfortunate to see news like this but when you take a project that did start off as a smaller scale project and then you're trying to rework that into a bigger frame um i could definitely see how issues like that could arise and now they just want to start from scratch while retaining the split gate universe and the core fundamentals of what made that game uh so enjoyable but they feel that starting off with a fresh title would probably be the best way in terms of moving forward and i can kind of understand where they're uh, going with that at least the game is going to remain online and you're still going to be able to check it out again if you're into fast-paced shooters with unique mechanics splitgate is a worthwhile checkout the game got a lot of buzz when it initially dropped on pc i think it was back in early 2019 around that time and i remember a lot of people were talking about it and uh, again a free-to-play title that still has a relatively decent user base um but yeah they are moving on to a new game so hopefully they move on smoothly with that and it is going to be a free-to-play title it is going to be built on unreal engine 5 so Hopefully, that turns out pretty well. All right, moving on from that, what remains of Edith Finch, a PS5 upgrade, is now free for those of you that got the PlayStation Plus version, the PS4 version, I should say, through PlayStation Plus. It's tweeted out by Wario64, what remains of Edith Finch, PS5 version is now offered for people who claim it on PS Plus on console. Search for the game and switch over to the PS5 from the PS4 version. Then on the left, there's a drop-down menu. You have to select the second game, and you'll be able to claim it. Another one of those instances where a Plus game was offered in the past, and then it got ultimately upgraded. Uh, same thing happened with FF7 Remake, where I think back in March of 2021, that game was offered as a plus freebie, but then Intergrade came out and it got upgraded on PS5, and then the upgrade ultimately came well after that. Obviously, What Remains of Edith Finch is a smaller scale game, but still nice to see that the people that did get the game through plus 
are going to be supported with the PlayStation 5 version of the game. So go ahead and pick that up. All right, moving on from that, the Callisto Protocol. This is a game I'm super excited for. Definitely got that Dead Space vibe going on for it. And TrueTrophies.com with their sister site, True Achievements, spoke to Callisto Protocol developers uh, over at a Gamescom, and they talked about as far as how long this game is going to be supported. And a CTO, Mark James, noted, we view this as a full-service title, and we will be investing in DLC. We're looking Looking at four years of support after release, we've left the world expandable, we've created a world that can tell different stories, and so we can either tell those stories either through DLC, or we can tell those stories through subsequent products, we've left those open. I think that's the best way to go, just because you don't know how this game is going to be received if you can already guarantee a sequel, although... Personally speaking, anecdotally, based on talking to some people, this is the new IP that's dropping this fall that seems to have really set itself apart in terms of people being really excited for it. And I foresee this game, as long as it's of quality, that it's going to be quite good. I mean, it's got that vibe, it's got that grittiness that I think is going to sell a lot of people. On the official page, it notes the Callisto Protocol is a next-generation take on survival horror from the mind of Glenn Schofield, blending atmosphere, tension, and brutality with terrifying moments of helplessness and humanity. The Callisto Protocol immerses players in a pulse-pounding story where unspeakable horrors lurk around every corner. And man, if you're a fan of action survival horror titles, you got the Callisto Protocol. Month and a half, two months later, you got the Dead Space remake. You guys are feasting good. Like, I'm not big into survival horror games, but bro, I'm excited for the Callisto Protocol again, one of my most anticipated games of the year. And Dead Space 1 remake, as long as Motive does a good job with that remake, and from what I've seen, it does look like they're doing a very good job with it. I think that's going to turn out really well as well. So, a lot of quality stuff coming out. But the Callisto Protocol, them already having this vision for something that's far greater than just this initial entry, I find that pretty exciting as well. And hopefully they do develop a quality world with a lot of backstory, a lot of lore. Um, interested in how this game is ultimately going to be received. It is scheduled to drop on December the 2nd, so be on the lookout for that. One of my more anticipated games of the year. Lastly, not quite as hotly anticipated as the Callisto Protocol, but man, I loved Telltale's Tales from the Borderlands, and now we have a new title in New Tales from the Borderlands. We got a brand new characters trailer and 18 minutes of gameplay. New Tales from the Borderlands is developed by Gearbox, who partnered with key alumni of the original Telltale Games narrative team to craft the all-new story. The spiritual successor carries forward the same bold sense of adventure and storytelling with a standalone narrative full of heartwarming emotion, a new cast, and classic Borderlands humor. That's what I noticed out of the first Tales. Tell, tell uh, Borderlands title. Tales from the Borderlands. That game was absolutely hilarious, but it was also filled with quirky characters, and I really enjoy that game. While Borderlands has lost some of its luster for me, um, I'm still looking forward to this game. I'm cautiously optimistic with it, and uh, once again, with the new Tales from the Borderlands, you still have that quirkiness definitely there, so hopefully that is carried on through the entirety of the game. New Tales from the Borderlands is due out for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC through Steam and Epic Game Store, so it's going to be dropping on steam as well it will be dropping on october 21st but that is going to do it for me again unfortunate news about split game but hopefully that development team can progress with a new free-to-play title that is of quality and hopefully we'll hear about that soon and as of this moment Splitgate is still live you can still completely play it and the battle pass the next one is going to be free come september 15th what remains of edith finch if you have the playstation plus version you can upgrade that to the playstation 5 version callisto protocol looks to be a world that can be expanded four years of support maybe DLC, maybe subsequent product releases. We'll see how that turns out. Very excited for that. And new Tales from the Borderlands will be dropping October 21st. We got new character trailers, new gameplay, all that good stuff. That's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.